It's Wednesday night basketball here on ESPN as we get set for a matchup between the Golden State Warriors and the New Orleans Pelicans. All right, as the game gets underway, what's the key to success for Golden State here tonight? Mike, you better watch for Anthony Davis. I love watching him play basketball. He can beat you in so many different ways. He shoots the ball from the perimeter. He's got a paint game. He rebounds in traffic. But most importantly, he protects his defensive backboard with block shots and activity. Nice finish around the rim. He's among the league leaders in scoring this season. Jeff Clay Thompson had that magical game last year when he had an NBA record 37 points in a single quarter. Remember, he beat the record set by George Gervin and Carmelo Anthony. That was a special night. It was incredible to watch. When you look back at the nine three-point shots that he got, there was only one lucky bounce. I mean, he was so pure in that quarter. I, I wish I was there to enjoy it with the Oracle crowd. And Clay Thompson with the pretty shot from three. Sweet stroke, sweet result. Three point. To the basket, able to knock it down. A minute and a half remaining in the first. The Warriors up by two. Barnes against Holiday. Thompson for three with another shot. And Clay Thompson with the bucket from downtown. He's got six points in this game. Excellent balance. Beautiful release. Knocked it in. Gordon on the drive. Davis knocks it down. A two-pointer. Oh, when you see these type of plays in slow motion, only then do you realize how graceful and athletic they are. Davis firing again. Won't go the two-pointer. Inside. The whistle and a foul called against Ashik. That's his first. And Andrew Bogut will go to the line with under 20 seconds to go in the first. That's the first foul in the last two minutes. First free throw, perfect. Fails to hit them both. Hits the first, misses the second. Holiday into the front court. Defense! 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 Here's the screen. Holiday on the drive. It'll count if it goes. And the first quarter complete. The Warriors up by four. We'll be right back with. So a good start to this one after the first quarter. We begin the second in a fairly tight game. Neither team able to get control. No, but it was a good tone set by both teams in that they established the way they wanted to play the game here tonight. Jeff, remember we were talking about Clay Thompson's 37 points in the single quarter. Imagine if there was a three-point line when George Gervin was playing. How many would he have scored on a given night? Yeah, and I think George Gervin has a legitimate beat, Mike. He said, hey, I scored the 33 points without the benefit of the three-point line. It makes you think, do all these records need to have an asterisk next to them? When you talk about the three-point line, the scoring leaders, all of these things, to me, have been changed and will continue to change because of the impact of the three-point shot. Number 11, Clay Thompson. You know, Jeff, the Pelicans, they, they were swept in the first round by the eventual champion Warriors, but it was closer than that. 
They made Golden State sweat a little bit, and it was mainly because of the unbelievable play of Anthony Davis. Yeah, Anthony Davis is such a nightmare matchup, Mike. I just think this guy is going to continue to shoot up the charts of great players in our league. I like who he is, and you know what, Mike? If they get better and healthier perimeter play, they have a chance to move up in this tough Western Conference. Anthony Davis, Jeff, certainly one of the best players in the game, but you've got to give his teammates credit. They've allowed him to flourish. To some extent, I agree with you. I think it's a coaching staff thing. I think it's a teammate thing. But really, what they need for Anthony Davis to reach his potential is more and better depth. Curry from three-point territory. A minute and a half remaining in the second. The Warriors up by six. There's the pick. Goes to the goal. And Eric Gordon with the bucket. with one left on the 24, not able to hit. I like what I'm seeing from a multiple effort standpoint. Everybody tied together defensively to force a low percentage shot late in the clock. Holiday against Curry. Holiday from downtown with just one left on the shot clock. Golden State's leading New Orleans by a score of 15 to 11. Knocks it down. Again, the three ball from Stephen Curry. Holiday against Curry. At the buzzer. Nice way to finish the period. Count the basket. And the first half comes to an end. Jeff, one of the best parts of our job is watching Anthony Davis play. This young man has potential to be the best player in the league. Without question, he has grown in his time at Kentucky and then in his first few years in the NBA. This guy has not even started to reach his vast potential, Mike. I think he's going to continue to grow, and he will be a multiple-time MVP winner in our league. Curry jump shot and puts it in. He's among the lead leaders in scoring this season. Golden State's showing so much confidence with the three-point shot. It's a big reason for their lead. Holiday jump shot. Hits for two. New Orleans is shooting 57% from the field tonight. You're not going to see a better possession in the NBA from both sides of the ball. Good defense, good offense, good offense, one out that time. Goes for the three-pointer, puts it in. Golden State, seven for seven from outside. And if you're keeping track at home, you're well aware that they have not missed a single three-point shot in this game. This is an amazing shooting display. And Eric Gordon with a nice look from three-point range. He's averaging 13 points per game this season. Hey, you can only control what you can control. The defense there was great. It was just a better shot. This season, a huge season for Draymond Green. He was so versatile last year, now has the big contract. Perhaps feels a little pressure that he's got to perform this year. Money Green is my new nickname for him, Mike. But he deserved it. He earned it. His play, his versatility, his competitive juice had such a huge impact on the Warriors winning. And I don't think there has to be anything to change for his formula of success. 
He should not feel more pressure to score. Just continue to do his job and do it at a very, very high level. The assist from number 11, Clay Thompson. Throws it back. From beyond the arc, they'll get the rebound. To the basket, flips it up, puts it up, and in. What a play from Clay Thompson. That's nice body control right there on that layup. Good finish. Holiday on the drive to the rim, hits the shot. Quarter winding down, he just flips it up. And that'll do it. Three quarters complete. The Warriors up by four. We'll be right back with more Wednesday night basketball here on ES. Fourth quarter just about ready to get underway. Whoever gets some stops is probably going to win this game. But, oh, Mike, I'm worried. I don't see the intensity or the passion or the commitment defensively from either team. I don't think either team has the heart to stand in there and get the stops necessary. Davis against Green. Davis fires with three on the clock. Knocks it down. It's a two-point game. Puts it up for two. Curry shot, misses the mark. For the layup, it's good. Eric Gordon shooting 80% from the field. Oh, he beats the defender. At the rim, oh, rejected by Davis. Puts it up. It's good. A two-pointer. And Eric Gordon with 12 points. And that's the first lead change of the game, and it's the fourth quarter. This is highly unusual. You rarely see this. Won't go from outside the arc. It home with a slam. An 8 0 run for the Pelicans. The assist from number 10, Eric Gordon. Barnes draws the double team. Fires for two. Puts it in. Two point game. Two minutes gone by in the fourth. Golden State's down by two. Puts it in. Four-point game. Look, you can't give up layups like that. you got to protect the basket and the paint at all costs. Attack. Puts it down. What a play. Oh, that's a sweet finish right there. Dunking the balls with strength and force. Finish. Whistle blows. Timeout here late in the fourth. Hey, you're down the stretch of a close game. You come out of a timeout. You don't need a three right here. Yeah, if the three-point shot opens up, great. But if not, what you want to do is create the quickest score you can by attacking the basket. This community event. Fires away. Knocks it down. What a clutch play. Goal. There's a foul. It's called against the Warriors. 
their first team foul. And Anthony Davis will go to the line with seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Knocks down the first one. free throw shooting they now have a two-point lead and Golden State calls timeout as time is running down here on the fourth she goes baseline puts it up had to do it there they stop the clock with the foul is it easy to make both in this situation? No. But is it critical? Yes. It's his job up to a few seconds ago make both of these free throws to make it a two-possession game. Nope. First free throw won't go. Hitting the second free throw, he's one for two. And Steve Kerr calls time as this one's coming to an end. Cut him, cut him. Defense nowhere around the three-pointer. And time's run out in this one. The final score is 39 to 36.